Stephen, um, disappointment would be a, would be an understatement. Um, what do you say to the, the fans after that? Uh, Apologise to them. Apologise to everyone connected to the club. Um, they came in good numbers and for the ones that couldn't be here as well, uh, we're sorry and try to make sure that never happens again. Um, it was the, the worst case scenario tonight. What went so badly wrong in that first 45 minutes? In fact, not, not even 45, like the first 15, 20. I mean, Airdrie are a good side. Um, we knew we spoke about that um, leading up to the game, spoke about that in previous games. Once they get their tails up, they're a good, good side. I mean, um, good, good players and you need to try and kill their momentum. Tonight we couldn't kill the momentum and it felt like every time the ball was going into the box, um, it went in. So a disaster of the first half and um, yeah, I've played football for a long time and it's up there with the sorest nights I've had. That's the thing, I think it was something like 58% Falkirk possession, but Airdrie had had five shots and, and found the net with, with every one. Yeah, and we, we, need to, we need to look at that. Um, we've all made bad errors at, at goals. Um, it's probably the difference this season, probably conceded too many goals. I think as a team, um, we, we know that. It's something we need to rectify moving forward. But um, we spoke about half time, what, what's the point? And, um, chucking out, we've got three, 45 minutes to go. Let's try and win all three of them. Um, the six goals are real kick in the teeth. Um, at 5 2 out there, I'm thinking we've got them here. We could get to 5 3 at least. To finish at 6 2, it's, it's sore and it makes it uh, a real miracle job on Saturday. When we got things back to 5-2, to we, we seemed to you know, have a good little spell but then lose a bit of momentum. What, what, what do you think that was down to? I'm not sure. I mean, they do. They, they've, they lost a man in the season to Dunfermline and, and went from 3-0 to 4-3. So with probably speaking about that, them going through that, they spoke about probably trying to slow the game down, break, it, break up play. And they did that. It was a really stop start in the last 20 minutes. But all we can do is go out there again Saturday and uh, have our pride, try and get the first goal and you, and you never know, like we, we get that first, we spoke about that half time, get the first goal, we then get a man sent off and we score from a free kick, we get two, uh, two quick goals, so that's all we can do, um, as I say we apologise to, to everyone connected with the club and moving forward we'll try and make sure that never happens again. Is, uh, is Saturday then just finally, is it, is it very much just a case of restoring some pride? Yeah, I mean we, we, we'll be ready to do that on Saturday, um, tonight, tomorrow, the next few days are going to be really tough for, for all of us. You know, we I want to stand here um, speaking about a good night for Falkirk. That's not what I've been thinking about all day. And um, yeah, we just couldn't stop the bleeding in the first half. And as I said, I apologise for it. Stephen, honest as always, and thanks for your time. Cheers, Liz. Cheers, Liz.